All right, here he is, the number one lightweight contender, making his way to the octagon and looking to lead as the new undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world. He has bided his time, waiting for this title shot. He's got the winning streak. He has the quality of opposition. Now he's fighting the number one guy in the world. He believes he's the best. Now his opportunity to prove it, just a few minutes away. Well, in a division as talented as 155 pounds, it is absolutely remarkable what this man has accomplished. Here he is, folks, the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world. Now, his goals, far more lofty than that. The title defenses are starting to pile up, but he believes with this type of challenger that has some momentum with fight fans, if he can dust this guy here tonight, he can take his career to the next level and start to be mentioned with the GOATs, the Hall of Fame types. For now, he'll have to settle for UFC lightweight champion. We will see how it goes for him tonight, Vinks. And now our tail of the tape for this lightweight scrap. Oliveira is 30, Poirier is 31. Oliveira is one inch taller. He will have a two inch reach advantage. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Levin. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 28 wins, six losses, and one no contest. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Coconut Creek, Florida, presenting the challenger, Dustin the Diamond Poor. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 31 wins, eight losses, and one no contest. He stands five feet, 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Sao Paulo, Brazil, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world, Charles. The Brooks Oliveira! You have seat belt on the line. Protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. And with that touch of the gloves, we are underway. All right, here we go. UFC lightweight title is on the line. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with the punch there. Accuracy at its best. Oh, big knee there for Oliveira. Oh! Yes, it is a lost art in mixed martial arts. Not just the jab, but the double jab. I mean, a beautiful double jab. That thing's thrown right from the chin, too. Right hand punch the clinch. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. Nice jab, follows up with a nice right hand. Oliveira doing the right things defensively. Keep 
Take your face, hands up. Offensive fight. Nice job to block the shot there. That's a big strike right there. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Takedown of the fight after many failed attempts, so he stayed committed. Now he has the fight in his way. Oliveris going for the leg might be a submission opportunity here. The problem with rolling leg lock in MMA, man, is you get beat up, especially if you're a little bit hurt. Nicely done. Strong bottom work here, staying busy under three minutes now to go in the round. Both fighters get up now. Connects with a right. Oh, that's a nice strike. Got the single collar tie. And they separate. Oh, beautiful execution with the knee strike there. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. What do you follow up a beautiful strike like that be with? We'll see very shortly. Nice job moving off the center line. He slips to avoid that right hand. Great punch landing with so much power. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Dustin Poirier. Left hand punch with the clinch. Big punch from the clinch. Under two minutes in the first round. Beautiful leg kick throw. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Now the transition to the judo throw right into side control where he will have no shortage of options. Watch triangle, watch triangle. Trying to pass here, as Glover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked and keeping them in full guard. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Oh, how about the speed on that reversal there? I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not with that type of speed. You cannot allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop you the got to defend. But you can see him now starting to gain posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's going to be. The ground and pound has been there all night. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high-level grappler. You don't see that very often. Round two straight ahead. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. All right, round two now, folks. Charles Ready? Oliveira Ready? versus Fight. Dustin Poirier. Olivera's hook shot blocked. That one was telegraphed. Good job by the defense. Nice punch here. Oh, and the Superman punch is good. Oh. Oh, oh he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, 
single collar tie here. Stuff to take down, no problem. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Oh, huge right hand! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh! Just misses there with the left. Beautiful punch. I mean, he's cutting him down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, nice, beautiful follow tie. He's got him in the clinch. Oh, massive knee to the head. We'll see if he can follow up. Morey's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Oh, that right hand is on point. Very nice outside leg kick by him there, DC. We'll see if he follows it up here. He's really driving his shit. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, big left hook there. So we call on the numbers here, DC. 55 total strikes have landed. Olivera's got an arm. Looks like he's trying to lock up a Kimura. The Kimura's not the arm, it's the shoulder pressure that usually makes you tap. But now DC trying to isolate an arm. Yep, he's using the Kimura. All right, so he blusters up. Oh, man, that was slick. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Let's go! Get him off! Close guard. Well, any time you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Well, you gotta be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. Some big punches raining down here, picking his spots well, and hasn't chosen to engage. His... Now he's going to attack a triangle choke here. Oh! Now he falls back into the finishing position. Side control now, and certainly I would think more offensive options for the bottom fighter than in the half guard. Absolutely more offensive options, because now you can just start to get away. You can just go to a wrestler stand-up. Get to your knees, post your hands, don't allow him to get his hooks in, right? Really be aware of the hooks. But get to your hands, stand up, fight the hands, break away and escape. But it's so much more free-flowing than a half guard in the side control, because all you need to do is just get the opponent's body up because his legs are just free to move. His legs are not controlling anything. His legs are just free, so you have more freedom to use yours. Oh! Well, a really good second round for him thus far. After a somewhat lackluster first round, he has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Punch over the top. Oh, caught him there with the head kick. Well-timed overhand there by Fourier. Visibly limping here. Single collar tie now. Round three next. All right, let's check out some of the action DC, and how about the punching acumen by that fighter in that previous round? He does not waste anything. He does not loop punches. Everything's tight. Everything's precise. He's a sniper. We always talk about how he's a sniper. He is a sniper. And it showed in that exchange that allowed him to drop his opponent. Yeah. 
ready? You ready? Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Big punch land. Ooh. Well, he's looking for that left hand, just out of range, though, with it. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Oh, man, hate to be hit with one of those knees to the body. tie there. Poirier's lower jaw is just nasty at this point. Really swollen in that area now. Lands flush with that right hand. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. 78 total strikes have already landed for Charles Oliveira. We're on a pretty good connection rate thus far. Hitting on one out of every two. The accuracy rate is 50% against Dustin Poirier. It's time to look for that Punch coming, it's blocked. Oh man, his leg kicks are outstanding and you saw a great example of that just there. And you see his opponent start to slow down, he cannot take many of those kicks. Nice. Takedown defense holds up. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Well, as my favorite rap group Onyx would say, stick and move, right? Huh. Beautiful slip off the center line there. Yeah, what a great job of moving his head. It doesn't take much to avoid a punch. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. Oh, collar tie. Can't take many of those, you better check. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Oh, good knees here, DC. If you're on the wrong end of those knees, what are you, what are you doing to adjust? I mean, you gotta be getting out of those positions where he's in. You gotta be keeping those hands a little bit low to protect the body. You gotta just really, truly be working the entire time you guys are in close. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Two minutes remain in the round. Straight punch lands. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Oliveira's got the tie clinch. Let's see what he can do with it. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. When you're in the clinch, you can pull down on the head and land with beautiful punches to the head. Oliveira's got the tie clinch now. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting the combination. I mean, oh. if you're gonna sit there at the drive-thru, have... order a combination, take the soda with your food. Give him the right hand behind the jab. Give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook. That's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man. Let this guy have the whole thing. One minute. All right, single collar tie now. Oh, nice job defensively there to get the guard up. Shot is blocked by Poirier. Man, look at the redness now, almost immediately on the right side of his body. Oh! Oh! Big diving punch land. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here from Buck. Oh, tags him with the left, so the right hand has been there. Now he goes left hand. When you're able to fight from both sides, 
you become really dangerous. That's three rounds. We're now headed to the championship rounds. All right, there's the horn indicating the end of the round. You see the cut just above the eye from that round. So the cut man's got to get in here, close that thing up. You don't want it becoming an issue here into this next round. The cut is not that bad. You're okay. It's in a good spot. I think you can still win this fight. All right, there's the horn, and what a round it was. DC, take us through the replays. Punch after punch. He landed him at will. He went right at his opponent, got in his face, and showed this is my octagon. We are going to dance to the beat of my two. All right, here we go. Fourth round of a possible Ready? five. And this is the time where fighters are really tested, right? Dig deep, lean on the heart. We'll see who has the upper hand. You feel pretty good in round number five. Round number four is the one that really does test the fighter. It really does test the metal of the guy inside of the octagon. Poirier's attempt there is blocked by the opponent. Shooto throw. Let's see if he can capitalize and lock up the sun. You got to try to find whether or not you're going to land. Ground and pound here or if you're going to go to a submission. Got an angle here to try to change the position. Oh, nice. Okay, now we can escape. Keeping busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Poirier. Oliveira's got a bruise now starting to appear on the right side of his body. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by Oliveira. Reversal here, DC. What a way to switch the position. Fantastic movement by the bottom fighter. Oliveira's trying for a submission here. Recognize that when a guy starts to put his feet on your hips, you got to move him off and you got to cover. You can't be off to an angle. Now he falls back into the finishing position. Gets it done by submission tonight, champ. Just watch how slowly he approaches the submission, though. He never rushes. He takes his time, but it's his trickiness. It's his ability to trick people into going to the floor with him that puts them in danger and finishing fights. Well, ladies and gentlemen, there he is, the UFC lightweight champion, and I'm not sure any 155-pounder could have held up under the onslaught here tonight. He wins the belt by way of submission. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 17 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by submission due to an arm bar. And still! Well, many argue it's the UFC's toughest weight class. It's one of the more difficult belts to defend, but he certainly did just that here tonight. Congratulations to the undisputed UFC lightweight champion, your winner by submission. And now all that's left to do is to celebrate with the corner. Big finish and a big result here tonight.